Hi friends, here we are once again and today we are going to have a detailed discussion on ISO and the P mode. What is ISO? I'm sure you might have heard something called exposure and to control exposure we have three elements aperture, shutter speed and ISO and in that let's start with the easiest one today and that's ISO. Sensitivity of sensor your camera sensor towards light. When you want to make your picture looks brighter, you will make it more sensitive. When you want to make your picture darker, you will make it less sensitive. Let me give you an example. If you have a toothache and the doctor is saying that the, the tooth is sensitive, maybe when you consume something cold, you get pain. It becomes more sensitive and it, it starts giving you an indication that yes, something is wrong. Similarly, when your sensitivity of sensor, camera sensor towards light increases, it becomes more brighter. The image becomes more brighter. Exposure is increasing. As it becomes less sensitive, the picture is going to become darker. Now let's do a practical example with a live shoot and I will show you how does the ISO and related to P mode works with respect to exposure. Now take the example of this camera. There will be something called ISO button in your camera. And if you press that, you would see there is an ISO range from 100 to 6400 in this particular camera. So if your camera might not have 6400 or it may have more than that, it depends on camera. Generally, we start shooting with ISO 100. And if you are not getting the desired result, you would start increasing it further and further. Last episode, we have discussed different modes in the camera and we have something called semi-automatic mode, manual mode and fully automatic. Here we are discussing today the semi-automatic mode, P mode. Now let's connect the ISO to P mode. How does it work? For your information, P represents not professional mode, program mode. You set the ISO. In program mode, you set the ISO. Who decides the aperture and shutter speed? Camera decides. You don't need to worry what should be the shutter speed, what should be the aperture. You only need to worry about what is the ISO you want. Now imagine in this case, if you set the ISO to 100, you might see that the aperture and shutter speed is automatically taken care by the camera and different values are coming. Let's do a practical now. If you observe this image, what we have taken now, we have set ISO to 100 and we got an aperture of 1.8 and a shutter speed of 1 by 15. And the camera calculated the exposure to get you the right exposure. Meaning, you don't have any control with respect to how much it should be darker and lighter at this stage. Changing ISO in P mode, does it going to create more brighter or more darker? Is it going to affect? Let's check that out now. I am going to change the ISO now to 200. And we are going to take the same subject again. Now, if you observe the picture at ISO 200, ISO 200, we have got this image with shutter speed got increased to 1 by 25 and an f1.8 aperture. Are you seeing any kind of exposure change? Maybe the picture is brighter or darker. This was the previous image and this is the present image. It's not. It means in P mode, when you are changing ISO alone, it's not going to give you the picture more exposure or less exposure. So where is the catch? This is a priority mode. As I said, ISO is a priority in P mode. To make your exposure less or more, you have to work on exposure compensation. Now what is exposure compensation? If you observe, we have taken the image at ISO 100 and 200, but the image brightness or the exposure looks same. 
In P mode, if you want to make your image look darker or brighter, you have to do exposure compensation. To do that, in Canon camera, just press the AV button and the dial, if you turn, the cursor will move to the exposure dial and it can go towards plus side or it can go towards minus side. Remember, we have set our ISO to 200. We haven't changed it. And we are only trying to make a change in compensating the exposure by this. I request you to check your camera manual if you have a different brand. How do you do this exposure compensation? Which button to be pressed? And now let's do a practical live example. We will make it towards plus one. And let's take a picture. Now if you observe this picture, it's visible that the brightness of the picture got increased. Meaning, the exposure got increased by plus one. We have made the exposure towards the plus side. Now let's do to the minus side. Now if you have made the competition towards minus one and let's take a picture again. Look at this. We have made a competition minus one and you see this picture looks slightly underexposed and the color looks really saturated and nice. <coughs> now the question, how much exposure compensation we must do? It really depends on lighting and the what's the kind of artistic sense the photographer has. We have made the first picture. No compensation. How does camera look? This is the image. We made plus one exposure compensation and this picture looks like this. We made minus one compensation and the picture looks like this. Now I hope you have understood what is exposure compensation and in P mode, how can you do this? To sum up what we have learned today, ISO, one of the important factors to consider when you do exposure management. Two, ISO is nothing but sensitivity of sensor towards light. Three, in P mode, ISO is the priority, shutter speed and aperture is decided by the camera. Four, if you want to make adjustment with respect to making the picture under or over, or making the picture brighten or darken, you have to do it by exposure compensation. Five, you have to practice. That is what is more important. Now, I request you to do that in, with your camera and let's learn the further techniques in the next episode. Till then, goodbye guys.